Right, morning. Today is uh, chest day. Doing incline dumbbell press, which is probably one of my favourites after a flat bench. I do a lot of warm ups. Uh, I go against conventional wisdom. I do a lot of volume and a lot of reps in my warm ups. Uh, it works for me. It uh, increases blood flow to my chest and my shoulders, importantly, my shoulders. Uh, it greases the groove so I get the movement down properly before I start hitting the heavy weights. Um, I get everything firing that I need to fire and it just psychologically prepares me as well and um, it's very early, I've got a lot to do today so I'm training early, I haven't eaten a lot. Uh, so that extra warm up just gets me ready. Um, so I do 100 rep warm up which is massive really and it, like I say it's against conventional wisdom but it's not heavy. I do a set of 20 with 10s, set of 20 with 15s, set of 20 with 20s, set of 20 with 25s, and a set of 30, set of 20 with 30s. I've got the 30s here. I'll probably film that set uh, to show you getting the how to correctly get the dumbbells in position when you when you train on your own. Um, and my theory has always been, even if you train with somebody else, that if you can't get dumbbells into position by yourself, then they're too heavy for you. You just go down two and a half k, five k, whatever. So you know, part of the lift to me, you know, the lift doesn't start when it's here. The lift for me is getting them in position and then lifting. So I look at the lift in its entirety. I don't look at it solely. The lift doesn't start for me on the chest. It starts when the dumbbells on the floor. I've got to get those dumbbells from the floor into position. So um, that's when the lift starts for me. Um, so I, I'll film the 30s final warm up set with, uh, for 20 reps. Um, you know, that's a reasonably hard set. Um, and then I'll move on to the 40s and film maybe one or two sets with those. Um, but just note how I get them into position. Note that I, I, I lift both dumbbells off the floor at the same time. Don't reach down, pick one up. Reach down, pick the other one up. That is seriously bad for your back. You're twisting and flexing your spine under load. Something eventually, you might get away with it for 15 years, 20 years. Eventually you're gonna pop something and it's gonna hurt. So pick them both up together, get them onto your knees, and you can either Flick one back and then flick the other, or as I tend to do, go straight back with two. But, right, here it goes. Both dumbbells up onto the knees, back in the bottom position, and up. Always control the weights, don't throw them down. <coughs> All right, 40s. These are quite, they're quite big dumbbells, so uh, to get them into position is a bit awkward, but you know, like I say, that's part of the lift.
what I'm probably going to do is uh, just bang out 50 reps of them, however that falls rep wise. So I've done two sets of 10. I would imagine the reps will slightly drop now and I'll do as many sets as I need to to get to 50.